Hallelujah. Glory. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Man, there's electricity in this place. I don't know if you sense that or not. If you don't, you missed it. So I can tell you. Whew. That's why that last song he said, Guy, I want you to acknowledge me that I'm here. And I know my dad's here. Because he's releasing a very prophetic message to bring us not to look from this realm, but from the other realm. So what's going to be released tonight is a reality of the unseen realm so that we may understand more of the things of the Creator and His creation and what's happening. Everything that God creates is energy. He's energy Himself. Amen? That's why He has a trinity to, so that we can He can communicate with us without killing us. His love is light. He is energy. Pure, glorious, powerful energy that up upholds everything. That's why he's known as the light and the love. God is light and God is love. Amen. And the battle is between darkness and light. In John chapter 1, book of John, hallelujah. In verse 1, first four verses, something like that, five verses. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Grant us revelation, Lord. Help us to see from your side. Jesus' name. Let's speak. In the beginning the, was the Word. In other words, the Word... His voice, its presence, its power, its frequency. Amen? And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So the voice of frequency that brings life and light was always from the beginning and always will be. It says, he was in the beginning with God, and all things were made through him, and nothing, without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And light, the light shines in the darkness, and darkness did not comprehend it. In other words, the word, the voice of frequency that brings light and life. Words of radiance. Amen. Everything he creates releases a frequency, or what we might know by... A frequency is a measurement of vibrations that oscillate at different levels. A frequency is a measurement of vibrations that oscillate at different levels. It's measured in hertz. They call it hertz. It's repeated cycles. It's, it's a repeated cycle per second that it's measured by. As in sound waves, it's, it's, a, it's a pattern of disturbance that travels away from the source. So it's got to originate from somewhere. These vibrations or par, uh, vibration particles are parallel to the energy wave of direction, always. Let me try and put this in layman terms. First of all, you got to understand something. I'm going to share this morning in my prayer time, and the Lord began to discuss some things with me. Next thing I know, I was in the matrix. 
but that's all I saw was numbers, letters, things. That's all I saw. I didn't see anything else. I saw a figure. But that was it. And the Lord said, this is my side. When we begin to realize that everything he created is energy, light, everything comes from him, Everything's associated with frequency. When people go to heaven, what do they see? They see plants singing. <laughs> you know? They see all kinds of things going on in heaven. And, and in this, he began to release to me a, a, a message, and he was sharing with me about the, the healthy frequencies and the deadly frequencies. And how many people do not understand the difference. And, they, and they, they're nonchalant about certain things. And how the enemy has increased so much of this frequency that it's becoming an, an emotional mind control over people. In Psalm 19. We're going to call this message Words of Radiance. And let's read this starting at verse 1. Is everybody there? The heavens declare the glory of God. Now, the glory of God is radiance. Amen? Listen, I can only share with you my own experiences. When my visitation came, and when he came, his radiance ripped through me. Now, when we talk about electricity, and I'm, I mean, you've probably heard my testimonies over and over and over, when I, got, <clears throat> when I got slammed by the Holy Ghost, filled with electricity and power, I was like a fish flapping out of water. I had no control over anything. I mean, they wanted to call 911. They thought I was crazy. I was having an epileptic seizure. I mean, uh, I, my, everything was going crazy in this body. I had no control over it. That's all I know is the breath was all taken out and he was filling in. And then one day I was praying for someone and the power of God came through my head. I thought my body was going to split apart. And there was electricity. It was like a gazillion volts went through me. And the dude that was next to me, he got hit big time. He, he, he was in the car with me, and it hit him so hard, he went and hit his head on the ceiling. And he was a homeless dude. He was sleeping on the streets, and the Lord said, he's, he's got, he's got, he wants to ask you something. So I turned around and went back, and the dude ran up to my car. And he, I forgot what he, he asked me for. I said, come on in. And he sat down, and, and uh, I said, you know, I was basically homeless myself. I shared my testimony. And uh, then I, I, pray, I prayed with him, and then I prayed for him. And as soon as I began to pray for him, the power got hit. This guy, his eyes were all red. He was a heroin addict. There were tracks up and down his arms. He got, his eyes became totally clear instantly. And he looked at, he looked at my rearview mirror, and he was like, like this. And he was like, whoa, I got to tell everybody about Jesus. And, and he opened the door, was getting ready to leave. I said, wait a minute. And I gave him a Bible. At the time, I didn't have the penetrating prayer booklets. Or I already gave him a bunch of those. So, you know, I mean, you might have seen, if you've been at a, a healing service or something, there are people on the ground, and they're snipping and snapping. People that were paralyzed in wheelchairs, and all of a sudden their bodies are, they don't feel no pain at all. And they're being totally healed. Because of the power of God Almighty. Love. Love. His glory. So we began, we've got to begin to look at an area coming out of the physical and looking at the radiance of God Almighty and, and the things that are going on around us spiritually. Listen, demons carry a presence. Most of the time, demons don't say anything to you. 
You know what radiates? Their presence. That, that vibration that radiates their voice. They don't say nothing. They don't have to. People hear voices, but they're just sensing the presence of a demon because it radiates something. Does everybody understand? It says in verse 1, the heavens declare the glory of God. And the firmament shows his handiwork. Day and to date utters what? Speech. And night on to night reveals what? Knowledge. Why? Because he's releasing this all the time. It's radiating. Why? Because everything was created by him. His word is still speaking. It's still radiating. Everything has a frequency. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Does everybody see that? Their line has gone out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. In them he has set a tabernacle for the sun, which is like a what? Bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoices like a strong man to run its race. Its rising is from one end of heaven and its circuit to the other end, and there is nothing hidden from his heat. Now check this out. He utters speech and knowledge. It's frequency, right? Sound waves. The sun radiates a frequency of sound waves at a level to bring light and heat. Listen, what does it do? What is this? Without the sun, can things grow? No. So it also assists in God's purpose to bring life. Amen? Keeps us warm. We have fun in the sun. <laughs> Yet it's set in a perfect position of distance to give the opportunity to enjoy the sun, but also to remove oneself from its continuous harmful rays. Amen? That's why he gave you wisdom. Verse 7. It says the law. The law is his words that radiates. Amen? Radiating a frequency of sound waves. The law of the Lord is what? Perfect. What's it doing? Converting the soul. Now your soul is your emotions, your imagination, your conscience, subconscious, attitude, motive, desires, memories, minds, thoughts. That's your soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the what? Eyes to see. The fear of the Lord is clean, endeavoring forever, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. All These are things that he releases from his words. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold. Sweeter than any honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them your servant is warned. And what? And keeping them, there's what? Great reward. In other words, getting this understanding. There's great reward. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse me from secret faults. Keep your servant also from presumptuous sin. How many of you know sin radiates a destructive and corruptive and deadly radiance? Keep back your servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless and I shall be innocent of great transgressions. Let the what? Words of my mouth. Hello. Words of radiance. And the meditation of my heart, in other words, my desires, be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Powerful. All this is associated with his radiance, what he releases. It's a frequency. And it is a voice of frequency that brings light and life. Words of radiance. And Genesis 2. Hallelujah. And verse 7. Let's speak. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. What are you breathing him? Life. What's life? It's a frequency. Does everybody get this? 
Now you got to you got to come out of all of natural theological everything and step into the reality in the area of laws and physics and things to that degree. How God has created all things. You know, if you really think about it, everything is numbered. Everything is numbered with frequencies. That's why they can calculate so many things. Because mathematically done. Amen? And the Lord God breathed life into the man, and he became a what? <laughs> Hallelujah. The breath of life, frequency of life. You know, a heart beats creates a what? Frequency. It's a rhythm. Boom. Boom. It's creating a frequency all the time. It's like a generator of frequency that upholds the body. Healthy frequencies come also from good foods. There's food that releases frequency. That's why the Lord said, be careful what you eat. Why? Because they radiate a frequency. So there's harmful frequencies of food, and there's good frequencies of food. What does it say? He says, check this out. He says, a joyful heart is good medicine. Now, you may win the lottery, but that's really not a, you may be very joyful, but that's not a joyful heart. Because the true joyful heart that brings medicine to your body, it comes from God's presence. Not because you're happy you won the lottery. See, that's temporary. But what changes you, because God's presence releases, it says the joy of the Lord is our what? Strength and in his presence is fullness of joy. Why? Because he's radiating, he's releasing a frequency. Amen? He's releasing his life-giving frequency to me and you. Now I'm going to share something. Uh, not yet. <laughs> Hold on. Psalm 29. Glory. Psalm 29. He wants us to be more alert about the things that are releasing these frequencies that are harmful. Because people don't realize how harmful they are. Now think about this for a second. When you go to a doctor and get x-rays, they put the thing on them, right? And they skid out of the room and take the picture. Amen? They, because they're doing it all the time. Why? Because that is a frequency. Even our technology now that we have is lasers, that's a frequency. So radiation, radioactive things are frequencies. Amen? Those are harmful to your physical body, but there are radioactive frequencies from the presence of darkness that is harmful to your soul. What does it do? Its, it's purpose is to try and bring individuals under emotional mind control. And they get freaky when that happens. I've been there. That's what drugs do. Drugs are the worst frequencies. Meth right now is one of the worst. You do meth once, you're caught. That opens the door big time. Oh, I don't do it all. You only had to do it once. Now you've got to go through a process. It is one of the strongest emotional mind control puts people in a state of deception and delusion. And they actually believe it. That's not the only one. Cocaine and crack did the same thing all drugs do. But their effects were not as bad as it is now because they've gotten, they know the powers of darkness know how to set these things up with frequency. How many of y'all know a curse is a frequency? Amen. What about a cursed items? People have no idea the stuff that they're dealing with all the time just because it doesn't manifest. But we're being bombarded. Paul said we are hard-pressed. Remember, spirits carry these frequencies of destruction, corruption, and death. Hallelujah. Psalm, where 29 is go? Verse 1. 
Give unto the Lord, O you mighty ones. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Why do you think the name of Jesus rips everything apart? Because it releases a frequency of light. It is pure love light. Verse 3, let's speak it. The voice of the Lord is over the what? Waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. Yes, the Lord splinters cedars of Lebanon. He makes them also skip like a calf. Lebanon and Saron, like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord divides the flames of fire. So when you see fire divided, you know it's a frequency from God. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The voice of the Lord, uh, the wilderness of Kadash. The voice of the Lord makes the deer give birth. Man, he speaks, they birth. They'll pop them right out. And strips the forest bare. In his temple, everyone says, glory. The Lord sat enthroned at the flood. The Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The voice of the Lord, frequency of sound waves, of light, life, and power. John chapter 8. Verse 42, words of ra radiance. Hallelujah. Let's speak it together. John 8, 42. Then Jesus said to them, if God were your father, you would love me. <laughs> For I proceeded forth and came from God. Nor have I come of myself, but he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech? Why do you not understand my words? Because you are not able to listen to my words. Why? They're a different frequency. Does everybody understand it? They can't comprehend. Unbelievers can't comprehend. They can do a lot of yes, but they don't get it. Different frequency. You are of your father the devil. Now look at that. The desires of your father you want to do. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the what? Truth. Because there is no truth in him. There is no light of frequency. When Satan rebelled against God, he picked up a different frequency and the Lord removed him from his presence. Why? From a different frequency. No longer would he allow him to have access to his frequency again. When he speaks, he speaks of what? Lie. He speaks from his own resources. For he is a liar and the father of it. But because I tell the truth, you do not believe me. Which of you convicts me of sin? And if I tell the truth, why do you not believe me? He who is of God hears God's words. Why? Same frequency. Therefore you do not hear because you are not the same frequency. You're not of God. That's why the difference of being born again with a new DNA and a frequency, uh, sound waves of communication. Darkness frequency is corrupt and deadly. It's corrupt and what? Deadly. You know, even Ephesians tells us we do not fight flesh and blood. In reality, we're fighting the presence of voices. Or actually, when you really go down to the deep part of it, it's frequencies. They're being released constantly. Everybody okay? Mark chapter 11. And what's the enemy you want to do? Bring people under emotional mind control. EMC. Not AMC. Although that probably has something to do with it. <laughs> you know? 
those are theaters, aren't they? Now think, just think about tell a vision. What is it doing? Telling a vision. Amen? We talked about this before. You're, he, that's, what, that, that's what they're trying to do. Television releases a frequency. What's it trying to do? Bring people on emotional mind control. Tell a vision. And what did they do? They turned to channels for what? Program. Here's another program. Here's another. Oh, wait. Channeling. Well, let's just channel some more demonic presence so that harmful and corruptible radiance can affect mankind. To bring them on their emotional mind control. Watching TV can kill people. Not even know it. It's got a deadly radiance, depending on what the program is. In fact, you can barely find anything that's wholesome anymore. You know? Mark eleven twenty. Hallelujah. Words of radiance. Let's speak it together. Then he began to rebuke. Uh, oh, that's Matthew. Sorry. They both begin with an M. Hallelujah. 11.20. Is everybody there now? <laughs> Let's speak it. Now, in the morning as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter, remembering, said to the Lord, Rabbi, look, the fig tree which you curse has withered away. Curse is a harmful frequency. Jesus cursed the earth so it wouldn't last forever. <laughs> Why? Because it's in its corrupt state. He did it for a reason. He was showing his disciples because it wasn't producing fruit. It, was out of, it wasn't producing, was, so he cursed it. But he showed the disciples the power of a curse coming out of the mouth. A cursed items release a harmful frequency. Again, that's like radiation or radioactivity things that affect the body, harmful to death. Accursed items are the same way, but affect the soul of the man to bring them under control or emotional mind control. Again, we just talked about television and so forth. What does the word say? Bad company corrupts what? Why? Because they carry a frequency that's affecting you. False fulfillments, addictions. Again, meth. Look at pornography. How it really messes families up. They're some of the highest levels of emotional mind control, according right now, again, the number one is meth. They have increased that frequency on it. You touch it once, you're snagged. You got to go through deliverance and get free. There's a process of getting free from it. Hello? How about hatred? What about unforgiveness? Those are all frequencies that are bad. It brings people uh, under a, a high level of emotional mind control with delusions, over aggressive imaginations, paranoia, false perceptions, and a state of false reality unto death or deliverance. Look at the stupor things. Stupor, stupor drugs that are like nullifying reality, like marijuana. Man, they're promoting marijuana like crazy these days. What's it doing? It's putting people in a stupor state. It's a frequency that allows a person to become nonchalant about everything and accept sin and everything else. Heroin, it's another stupor drug. Opiates are stupor drugs. They put people in a stupid state of being. They can't perceive. Nullify reality. Still frequencies of corruption and death. That's what they are. And p unless people get rid of the presence that's promoting it, I'm telling you that it does so much harm to people's minds. Harm. What's it doing? It's invading the soul. It's allowing that frequency to drive out light and bring darkness. And now the darkness is controlling it. Delusions, crazy perceptions. And it comes in many things. Sometimes it's inherited. That's why ancestral curses bring these what? Frequencies. 
Is everybody okay? Ephesians 2. You got to sow your way out of these things. Amen? Why? Because the more you sow light, you eat light. You got to sow till you drop. Ephesians 2. Again, they've increased these, just like radiation, radioactivity, they've increased these things on all of these chemicals because they know that it can affect the body and then affect the soul. Look at fear does. Hello, look what it's done to the world. They're all running to get vaccinated. And then the vaccination are causing more problems. I hear more and more problems every single day about people taking that vaccination. And again, the FDA still will not approve it. And Red Cross will not take anybody's blood who, t who got the vaccination. Doesn't that tell somebody something? I can't. It's amazing how many people are Christians ran to the vaccination because of fear. And I'm going to share something else. It's the lack of presence of God. They become religious and not worshipers. They may know the word, but not God's presence. See, there's a lot of people who do not know the Lord. They know about him. And that's what the Lord shared with me today. People still think they know me, and they don't know me. They only know about me. Because if they knew me, they wouldn't do those things. They'd want my presence no matter what. My presence would be their first fulfillment, nothing else, if they knew me. Ephesians 2, verse 1, let's speak it. And you he made alive who were dead in trespasses and sins. And once you once walked according to the course of this world, according to the what? Now look at this. The prince of power of air is what? Frequency. He's the ruler of this earth. Releasing this harmful frequencies. The spirit who now works in the sons of what? Disobedience. That's why people can't hold on. Among whom also we all once conducted ourselves in the lust, desires of flesh, which desire of flesh is a bad frequency. It's harmful. Your flesh is a harmful frequency. That's why it must be crucified. Fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind. And we're by nature children of wrath just as the others. Again, the prince of power of frequency that rules the world system with emotional mind control and deception and fear. This is where we're at. And to unplug, unplug from the false reality and false hope of this world. It's, an, it's almost like a hologram. As we begin to step, the more we get closer to the Lord, the more we begin to step out of this, and everything is just a temporary image. In Ezekiel 28. Oh, hallelujah. In verse 11. Let's speak it more over the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, take up a lamentation for the king of Tyre and say to him, Thus says the Lord God, you were a seal of perfection. In other words, if perfection is associated with a perfect frequency. Full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. You were needing in the garden of God. And every precious stone was your covering. Now remember, these things release the frequency. Unfortunately, people worship these st certain stones and think that something's going to happen to them. Yeah, they're going to get stupid. It's going to turn. It's going to go wrong. Every precious stone was your covering: the sardius, topaz, and diamond, braille, onyx, jasper, sapphire, turquoise, and emerald with gold. The workmanship of your timbrels and pipes was prepared for you on the day you were created. In other words, he was created to what? Be the praise and worship leader. You were the anointed cherub. The anointing carries a frequency. Who covers the earth, the world, the universe with his God's praise? 
I establish you, you were on the holy mountain of God. You walked back and forth in the midst of the fiery stones. You were perfect in your ways from the day you were created till iniquity was found in you. Change of frequency. How many know pride is a free, bad frequency? That's why God can't give the plan of escape to an individual that's prideful. Because it's the wrong frequency. They won't get it anyways. Hello? So he, uh, Lucifer was removed from the frequency of God's presence. <laughs> and, he be, and his own frequency now manipulates mankind. With his emotional corruption. Actually musical corruption these days. Amen. If you know how music is established, because remember that, I don't know, if you, I'm sure many of you have seen the videos and so forth. All music from the world is brought into a, a, a I guess, a, a, a location, and it's prayed over and cursed on. Twelve witches pray over them and curse on the music. And they conjure up all demons to be connected to the music. In other words, that frequency now is going out and causing people to do things. Lust. Look how music affects everyone. Look at rock and roll, country. It doesn't matter what kind of music it is. It affects individuals' soul. And look at this long-lasting effect on us. You may go into a store and have the next thing you know, you hear music. What does it do? Bring you past to if you, something from your past. It brings you back to your past, doesn't it? Amen? Because that frequency is still there. It's the same frequency. The one that you and I used to serve at one time will come and try and reattach itself to us and re, and re uh, affect us. That's what we call emotional attachments. And they pray over these things. And they connect a demonic presence that carries a corrupt, lustful, deadly frequency. Amen? It's a frequency of torment and manipulation. Witchcraft is a curse of destruction. It is a frequency for destruction. People mess with witchcraft. Now remember, drugs and alcohol is associated with sorcery, isn't it? All of those things. Witchcraft is rebellion. It's, in, it, it's what it promotes. It opens the door to a corrupt, emotional, mind control frequency. Go to Psalm 50. How about artificial intelligence? Why do you think they call it artificial? Because it releases a frequency. It's corrupt and it's deadly and it's your emotional mind control. Look at all the things that they always want to show when, remember, the Satan comes as an angel of light because he's a fake. Man, I, I've never seen so many commercials and advertisements or, about UFOs. And so I was, watching, I was watching the testimony today about these three people that were, actually four of them. And all of a sudden, this, it was huge. This UFO, on an uh, unidentified flying object, was over the light. What happens? Light. It's all fake. I'm not saying it's, those things are not machines, but they're always imitating light. Well, they see lights. They see this. Why? Because it's artificial intelligence. It's faking. It's artificial. It isn't real. It isn't the real frequency from God. It's artificial trying to manipulate. Does everybody understand that? That's why we know that the fallen angels carry an artificial intelligence. Because they ain't smart enough to enough themselves. So they carry all of this other stuff. Remember, they're the ones that brought all the witchcraft and sorcery and all the other stuff into this realm. The fallen angels. Remember, they went in and produced offsprings because they wanted their own. And God said, no more. Hebrews 1. No, Psalm 50. I'm sorry. Okay. Psalm 50. That's why you know, man, when you're praising and worshiping the Lord, the atmosphere changes. Everything changes. We change. 
shaking those things off, man. But you know, the enemy, the emotional mind control frequency doesn't want people to worship. They can't even lift their hands. Mind control. They can't even cross over. They can't press in. They have a hard time. They got to so, 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 so until they drop. Then maybe something might happen. <laughs> Psalm 50. In verse 16, I think it is. Yeah. Is everybody there? But to the wicked. You know, you got to understand, what does God mean by wicked? Somebody that's not right with him. Not on the same frequency. He considers it wicked. You're either righteous or you're wicked, one or the other. He says to the wicked, what right do you have to declare my statutes? My, my vo How dare you speak about my, and let your words come out of your, my words come out of your mouth. Declare my statutes and take my covenant in your mouth. Seeing you hate instruction and cast my words behind you. When you saw a thief, you consented with him and, and had been a partaker with adulterers. And you give your mouth to evil. And your tongue frames deceit. You sit and speak against your brother. You slander your own mother's son. These things you have done and kept silent. Come on, are you reading this with me? You thought that I was altogether like you, but I will rebuke you and set them in order before your eyes. Now consider this, you who forget God, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. Whoever offers praise glorifies me. And to him who orders his conduct aright, I will show salvation. Awesome. So he's saying, what right do you have to say anything or let my words come out of your mouth when you are wicked? Hebrews 1. Hebrew, glory, oh, happy days. You know, when you really begin to think about all of these frequencies that are so bad for us, these presents that are so bad for us, and you know what? The more you're filled with the Spirit of God, the more you sense it. That's why there's that unction in you. Yo, don't touch that. And I don't ever forget one time I went into this place. And uh, I was a baby in Christ. And, 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 I, and I saw this book. And it had a beautiful picture on the front. It looked really cool. You know, like almost like a trinity. I thought, oh, cool. I went to go touch it. And, man, I heard, drop it. And I sensed in my spirit, like my stomach turned. And I went outside, I left that building, I left my hands to the Lord, and I said, please wash me with the blood. Wash me with the blood. And I felt the presence of God come on me. And he cleansed me. Yeah, what? It was an, uh, it was an accursed item book. But see, God, without God's presence, without that true relationship, not about wanting to know him, it, it, this, these things cannot be comprehended in the outer court. They cannot. They can only start in the holy place to get to the most holy place. Hebrews 1, let's speak it. Verse 1. God who at various times, in various ways, spoke in time past to the fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken to us by his Son, in whom he has appointed heir of all things, through whom also we make the world. He made the worlds. Who being the brightness... Of his glory and the express image of his presence or his person and upholding all things by the word of his power when he had by himself purged our sins sat at the right hand of the majesty on high having become so much better than the angels as he has by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they again the brightness of his glory high radiance of love frequency Joyful heart, good medicine, amen? Again, it's not the joy of winning a lottery. It's the joy of being from God's presence. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
his, there's healing frequency. There's a frequency to, as you begin to praise and worship God. It's healing. See, one of the things that's so important, even in worship, worship is essential. The music that comes in worship is essential. That's why there's, sometimes the music gets too loud and it will, it will mess it up. I don't care if it's a worship song. If it's too loud in a certain frequency, so you must be sensitive to that frequency to say, no, I don't want that that loud. It's a gradual. Because then you're just singing, but you're missing the whole point of it. You're not, then you're not connecting with the frequency of God, the love of God, the radiance of God. We want to connect with it. Again, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with loud music as you're worshiping the Lord. But there are certain times in that music where it must be soothing. It must flow. And if it gets too loud, it cut, stops it. Hallelujah. The brightness of his glory, high radiance of love frequency. Praise God. Um, and there's a healing frequency. That's what we look for. If you've been around healing ministries, sometimes they repeat the same songs every time they're expecting healing to come. Hey Amen. I was brought up in Benny Hinn's ministry. Man, my brother prayed the same songs every healing service. And what happened? People got healed. They have now music out that's healing frequency. Why? Because music releases a frequency. It's the radiance of God's. It's words of radiance. Remember, we're energy. Amen? We're energy. Do you ever touch someone and get shocked? Hallelujah. Don't try and start your car, though, I'll tell you that. It ain't going to work. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. And pray to know. Let me tell you another frequency that's awesome. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Oh, that's an that's a awesome frequency that destroys darkness. That is a frequency that rips out, man. Things, and, and, and then God re, re, refreshes you as you're praying in the Holy Spirit. He refreshes you with words of radiance, vision. You know, one of the, why do, let me so many people backslide because they don't pray in the Spirit enough. And, of course, they're not in God's presence. And, and that's the whole uh, objective of the powers of darkness is to prevent people from getting back into God's presence. 1 Corinthians 2, is everybody there? In verse 6. Hallelujah. However, we speak wisdom among those who are what? Mature, in other words, like-minded, yet not the wisdom of this age. Why? Because the wisdom of this age is corrupt. Nor are the rulers of this age who are coming to nothing. But we speak the wisdom of God, which is from above, in a mystery, the hidden wisdom, which God ordained before the ages of our glory. Now, wisdom releases a frequency. Why? Because it's words of radiance which none of the rulers of this age knew. For had they known, they would have crucified the Lord of glory. But it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. But God has revealed them to us through his Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. For what man knows the things of man except for the spirit of man, which is in him? Even so, no one knows the things of God except for the spirit of God. Now, we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit of God, who is from God. And we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. These things we speak not in words which man's wisdom teaches, by which the, but by which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual, but the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God. Why? Two different frequencies. Amen? For they are foolishness to him, nor can they know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Again, the wisdom of God is a healthy frequency. Wisdom of the world is a demonic, corrupt, emotional, mind-controlling frequency. What does it do? It promotes pride. The natural man does not 
carry eternal frequency. Amen. That's why the Lord always said about being like-minded. Like-minded. We're carrying the same frequencies. And 2 Corinthians 2. In verse 14, 2 Corinthians 2, 14, words of radiance. What you speak is what you eat. Amen? Verse 14, now thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph in Christ and through us diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. I love it. For we are to God the fragrance of Christ among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. To one we are the aroma of death leading to death and to another the aroma of life leading to life. And who is sufficient for these things? For we are not as so many peddling the word of God, but as sincerity, but as from God, we speak in the sight of God in Christ. Now, this was very powerful to me because the Lord said the aroma is manifested when the eternal frequency dominates the corrupt frequency. Think about that. When two things affect, it causes a friction, doesn't it? He said he, uh, we release a, 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 free, a ro aroma of God. Amen. When the, our, the eternal frequency dominates the corrupt frequency, releasing a fragrance of love and victory, it goes to right to God. Worship dominating the flesh releases a fragrance to God. Because it's a frequency. Again, if you see two sparks come together, right? What happens? You start, it releases a, a smell, a fragrance. Amen? It's the same thing. In the eternal realm. When you and I are worshiping the Lord, there is a frequency that's being released and you are now overcoming. You are battling against the flesh and the presence of evil that's trying to release a frequency to you. But your dominance, when there is a domination over it, releases a fragrance to God. Which is a sweet smelling aroma to him. He loves it. Why? He loves victory. Everybody okay? Psalm 32. So know that the more you worship, the harder you press in, the more fragrance is being released. The less, well, too bad. You're missing it. Psalm 32, in verse 6. Hallelujah. Let's speak it. For this cause, everyone who is godly shall pray to you in a time when you may be found. Surely in the flood of great waters, they shall not come near him. You are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. You shall surround me with what? Songs of what? deliverance. Why? Your words of radiance. I will, in, and then listen, he says this, he says, songs of deliverance to reach the same frequency, amen, or sound waves, to be able to be instructed by him. Now, look at this, because this is what he says. He said, as you praise and worship me, you, I'm going to, re, you're releasing the songs of deliverance, Amen. As you're overcoming and, and dominating in present in worship, you're releasing a fragrance. Now something happens. An instruction will come to you. He said, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go when you get there. I will guide you with my eye. Do not be like the horse or like the mule, which no one understand with no understanding, which must be harnessed with a bit and bridle, else they will not come near you. 
Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he who trusts in the Lord, mercy shall surround him. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, you righteous, and shout for joy, all you upright in heart. Third John. Hallelujah. Third John. Third John. Here it is. Verse 2. Is everybody there? Let's speak it. Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as you're what? Well, see, when your soul prospers, you are now converted to the frequency of eternity. That's difference. And now there's healing. There's deliverance. There's a relationship. Why? Because your soul's being converted. It's no longer under the emotional mind control of evil. Amen? For I rejoiced greatly when brethren came and testified of the truth that is in you, just as you walked in the truth. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Beloved, you do faithfully whatever you do for the brethren and for the strangers, who has borne witness of your love before the church. If you send them forward on their journey in a manner worthy of God, you do well, because they went forth for his namesake, taking nothing from the Gentiles. Powerful. Prosper soul, conversion into eternal frequency of his sound ways. Amen? Now, I'm going to close in one simple scripture, Romans 12. You know, when you think about how many people had a visitation from the Lord when they're blinded. Look at Saul who became Paul. He was blinded. Amen? Because God's radiance, the light, pure. Awesome. In verse 2, let's speak it. Do not be conformed to this world's frequency. Hello. <laughs> but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's the refreshing of the frequency from God. That you may prove that which is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Why? Because there's communication. Remember, frequency is a communication. You know, when there's radio stations turning to stations and so forth, TV, everything is frequency. Everything now, there's so much artificial intelligence is trying to overpower the eternal frequency of God in relationship. When we talked about Google and everything else, people pray to Google these days. They spend more time with Google than they do anyone else. <laughs> more people are on Fleshbook than anywhere else. Get off of that stuff, man. Hallelujah. It's incredible. It's like people are lonely out there. They got to flesh out. Wrong frequency. Wrong. And people are releasing their own frequencies how many of y'all know oppression is a frequency? How about discouragement? People are releasing this stuff on Facebook and are affecting other people and not even know it. Does everybody understand that? And you know that we're accountable for that? The blood would be on our hands for affecting somebody else. Is everybody okay? Did you learn anything tonight? Praise God. Father, we thank you for your word. We are honored and blessed. We repent for every area of releasing ungodly, radiant words. We didn't do it. Yes, we did. You missed it. Hallelujah. 
So, so, Lord, we give you glory, honor, and praise. And we thank you. You're awesome, Lord. Yes, thank you. Fill us, dress us, and possess us. And let your words of radiance penetrate through every part of our being so that we can release your presence, your glory, your love, your radiance, and your frequency to mankind in Jesus' name. And everybody said amen. amen. Hallelujah. Give somebody a hug and tell them, get it.